Welcome to this research update and brief. It's 28th of August, 2017. In what is a remarkable study in regard to increasing survival of individuals with sepsis or septic shock. We're just going to go right to the citation title because it actually says it best. Citation is as follows. Hydrocortisone, vitamin C, and thiamine for the treatment of severe sepsis and septic shock. Now keep in mind the vitamin C utilized here was intravenous vitamin C. To quote the study parameters as follows. There were 47 patients of both treatment and control groups with no significant differences in baseline characteristics between the two groups. Now I'm going to reverse the figures here for the sake of impact. All right, the mortality rate in the control group was 40.4%. The mortality rate in the treatment group receiving vitamin C, thiamine, and hydrocortisone was diminished down to 8.5%. Now to quote why the researchers believe this is so is as follows. Investigators believe the combination of vitamin C, hydrocortisone, and thiamine works synergistically to reverse the pathophysiological changes of sepsis. Vitamin C is a crucial antioxidant, vital to preserving endothelial function and microcirculatory flow. Predictably, patients with sepsis have very low serum levels of vitamin C that can only be corrected through the administration of intravenous vitamin C. In the study, Patients were given six grams of vitamin C per day for which no complications or side effects were reported, along with hydrocortisone doses according to the consensus guidelines of the American College of Critical Care Medicine. Thiamine, interesting also, was included to combat the thiamine deficiency, thiamine deficiency, which has been linked to an increased risk of death in patients with sepsis. Now, another interesting result, to refer to the screen real fast, they said as follows. The sepsis-related organ failure assessment score, score decreased in all patients in the treatment group, the one receiving the vitamin C, the thiamine, and the hydrocortisone, with none, none, zero, developing progressive organ failure. To further go into the study, our research suggests that early use of intravenous vitamin C together with corticosteroids and thiamine were effective in preventing progressive organ dysfunction with thiamine including acute kidney injury and reducing the mortality of patients with severe sepsis and septic shock. Additional studies, of course, are required to confirm these preliminary findings. Again, when you look at that result, when you go from actually having a 40.4% mortality rate down to an 8.5%, diminishing down to an 8.5% mortality rate, and this was just with researchers seeing if it worked, this means this formula can be even tweaked even further in the future, reducing the mortality rate even down greater. An incredibly, incredibly breathtaking, beneficial study altogether. This is Ralph Church Channel signing off. It is the 28th of August, it's 2017. And as always, thank you very much for listening, and I'll catch you all next time. See you then. Bye.